You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Look! My family's been fighting them for centuries. Dune Part 2 rides to impressive $32 million opening day, it's a Dune boon for the box office. Warner Brothers and Legendary Entertainment's Dune Part 2 touched down with an impressive $32.1 million gross on opening day from 4,071 locations, a figure that also includes $12 million from Thursday evening and earlier event preview screenings. Have you ever had a dream about your first ride? That's already the biggest opening weekend of the year surpassing the $28.6 million three-day total of Bob Marley. One Love, Dune Part 2 has also nearly matched the $41 million debut that its predecessor landed back in October 2021, when Warner Brothers simultaneously launched the film on its streamer and the theatrical landscape was still in a state of heavy rebuild as COVID lockdowns eased. Even with those caveats though, that's a remarkable step up for a heady epic-length follow-up. Don't try to impress anyone. The question now is how high can Dune go? Heading into the weekend, industry projections for the Denis Villeneuve-directed feature had ballparked an opening between $70 million and $80 million, a range that the film has a good shot of going north of. A significant percentage of ticket sales are expected to come from formats like IMAX and Dolby. As there is a serious consumer appeal to seeing Dune in a premium large-format auditorium, those increased ticket prices help boost grosses but the limited amount of screenings may also lead to some viewers delaying their outing to theaters so that they can land the right seat in front of a gigantic screen. That may curb viewership now, but could lead to some strong holds for Dune down the line, and it'll need it, considering its $190 million production budget, Legendary funded roughly 80% of the production and has been involved with marketing too. Dune Part 2 also gets IMAX screens for three weeks before Ghostbusters Frozen Empire hits theaters, that's a sizable window that Warner Brothers hopes to capitalize on, also auspicious for a long theatrical run. Part 2 is just about the best-reviewed film of the year so far. Variety chief film critic Peter De Bruges hailed it as holding a satisfaction few films can offer. It's an enormous gamble, given the expense of creating at this scale, and a vote of confidence in cinema. Audiences are digging it too, as indicated by the A Grade Through Early Audience survey firm Cinema Score. Adapted from Frank Herbert's seminal sci-fi novel, Dune Part 2 sees Timothy Chalamet return as Paul Atreides, a messianic royal who leads an army against a rival clan on the extremely lucrative desert planet Arrakis. Zende, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin Stellan Skarsgård, Javier Bardem and Dave Bautista all return from the first movie, while Austin Butler, Florence Pugh Christopher Walken, Lee Seydoux and Anya Taylor-Joy are new additions to the cast.